Hello everybody, hello, 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 welcome back, ZDS here, part 3 of my Super Metroid Let's Play, and let's continue onward. Finally, this is actually uh, the second recording of the same session, so yay! Alright, so we can't go to Crate, obviously. I've obtained most of the weapons in the areas that I've already visited. So now I'm gonna head back to Brinstar, because now that I have the power bombs and whatnot, um, and the x-ray visor, or, and the, uh, the grapple beam, rather. I can get items like the x-ray visor. Come on. I'm sorry, these controls are the main reason why I have trouble coming back to this game all the time. They are way too loose for me. I mean, a lot of people I've talked to about Super Metroid told me that the controls are really tight, but... No! <laughs> These controls are very, very loose. You can slip off of platforms, you don't stop on a dime. There is severe momentum changes in your movement depending on how fast you hit the jump button and how far you tilt the control stick after you do so. Plus the very necessity of a run button. I mean, this is momentum based. I mean, it, it's, it's the reason that I don't like Sonic. I don't like momentum based platforms. Now granted, yes, uh, Metroid is not a platformer, but it is a game with platforming in it. So it's, uh, you know, it's definitely got that aspect going for it. And the only way to get through these worlds is by platforming. See, like, when small jumps are taken into account, you know, that's easy. It's the really hard long jumps that are fucking easy. Okay, now theoretically we could open this thing and get to uh, uh, Meridia right now, but there's no point to since we're underwater. <sighs> Except maybe to get to the save room that's at the bottom of that tunnel. Thing. So now that I have the ice beam, that is going to be my primary method of avoiding hazards until I get the space jump. Which in and of itself is finicky, but I'll explain that when I actually obtain it, probably in two videos. Super Metroid is not a long game, so it shouldn't take me much longer to finish this Let's Play. Oh, come on. Really? That was fucking stupid as hell. Anyway. There we go. I'm also not keen on the, on the way that you switch weapons. I really don't like it. I'll go ahead and waste that to refill my health. Now, you notice that my auto attack, my auto tank is still blue. That's because I actually have to get another health point on top of full health to make it go into the green. Which I could exemplify right about now. All right, now we have the power bombs. We go ahead in here, get that power bomb back. And in here will be the x-ray scope. Again, something completely optional. And it is so optional, in fact, that I never use it. Okay, that's the first time I've did that properly. Alright. Uh, just get across this, please. I don't like wasting my time with this stupid fucking bull crap fucky. No! Really? Really? Are you fucking serious here? Oh, and I have no way back up, huh? Well, that is fucking asinine. Great. <laughs> I get silent when that kind of stuff happens because it's very frustrating. Anyway, let's get our extra scope that we will never, ever, ever use, but I'm doing it for 100%, not because I actually need to use it. 
And they actually want you to like look around with it. But the X-ray scope is really only for those <coughs> for the first timers. Or maybe the second timers if you miss something on your first go. It is not something that experts need. Now I don't tout myself as an expert because I don't exactly have every single speedrunning tactic memorized, but I mean I do know where everything is. I might have to double check something later on when I get towards the end of this let's play just in case, but for the most part I do know where everything is. side there. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead this way. Up. Wait. Wait. Before I do that, actually, um, I'm gonna go back and heal in that fucking, uh, healy thingy down there, because, uh, up in this area I'm about to head to is the tunnel in this game that I hate the most. And I will probably be completely silent as I walk through it, because I hate it that much. <sighs> Ooh, here's hoping I can do it on the first try. I actually have to do a special way of jumping to prevent myself from floating off of the pixels wide platforms. Oops. Is ridiculous, but I actually have to jump like this to get through here. So give me a moment while I try not to die. I can say with impunity this is the most annoying singular tunnel in the entire game. Because you have to do baby jumps. Just to get through there without getting caught in those fucking tooth vaginas or some shit, whatever the hell they are. Alright, down here is where the normal power bomb you were to get would be. So if you were going through the game normally, this would technically be supposed to be the first power bomb you see. Fucking fucking fuck! I hate those things so much. Oh, I hate them. Anything that restricts my movement in a video game, or in life, really, uh, I just fucking hate it. If you blow up this, you go back here, and you find yourself a sweet little missile. Something you probably wouldn't know unless you tried using the x-ray scope, which you wouldn't even have at this point. Another thing that keeps fucking me up with this game is that it's different from the controls that I'm used to. And I, and I, and I don't mean just for, uh... Like, I don't mean just games in general. I mean specifically for this game, because... The way that I have the controller mapped... ...is more similar to how it is mapped on an actual SNES. <coughs> in regards to the actual buttons, not the, uh... <coughs> not the D-pad. Kiss these things. Spikiness, spikiness, spikiness everywhere. I can go down here, get myself another power bomb. 
which gives me 15 in total. There are a total of 50 overall power bombs, 50 overall super missiles, and um, 230 overall regular missiles. Which is a little weird to me, because every other Metroid game, uh, with the exception of uh, Samus Returns, Return of Samus, and actually I think Return of Samus as total is, no, 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 Return of Samus as total is, um, what I'm trying to say here is, is I'm used to the total being 250 or 255 because of the Prime Trilogy, but in fact, no, in this game, that is not the case. Okay. Now, real quick, well, as I'm going through here, I can, right now, go straight for Fanchin. I have everything that I need to get the gravity suit and go to Fanchin. There's nothing really stopping me. However, there's a bunch of expansions I can get, and I'd rather spend some time getting that than fighting a boss. Mostly because Fanchin is one of those bosses that can really fuck me up. Uh, it's probably gonna save the game if I do that. I really don't want to save the game yet. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I mean, ah, fuck it. Whatever. Is it gonna make me save the game? Or is it even gonna give me an option? Okay. No. So I won't save, just in case the recording fucks up. I just needed to heal. Alright. So, up here... I'll go ahead and, uh... That. Oof. Okay, whoa. Now this is something I usually don't do until later, but there is an energy tank in here, on this pathway, that I want to get right now. There's also two missiles at the end of this path, um, and you can easily get them both if you're good enough, or if you're like me and you suck, uh, you can't. Um, I've done it a couple of times, but most of the time I fuck it up. Alright. So I'm just gonna get... I'm just gonna get the, uh... Uh, no. I might get one of the missiles, but I'm not gonna try to get both. But I can get the energy tank right now. So that'll definitely help out later on. Now from here, after I'm done heading back through this way, I'm going to head back to, um, head back to Brinstar, because there are quite a few items in Brinstar that I can obtain right now. Fucking spikies. You really should have enough power bombs for this. If you don't, I'd be a little surprised. Alright, let me see if I can get them both in one go. Alright, so to use the extra visor real quick. Right here. These are invisible blocks. I need to land right in between. Oh. I need to land right smack dab in the middle. Nope, didn't do it. Because you got to destroy both sides in order to get both missiles on the same go. So I will get that other missile later on after I have the gravity suit. I don't really need both of them right now. I already have a hundred and that's plenty for what I need to do. I think that's a power bomb. There we go. Alright. Now we're much more powerful the first than the first time we came in here. And believe it or not, we're already about a th third of the way done with the game almost. Damn near half. I'd probably say two fifths of the way through. I hate elevators. Well, I don't hate elevators, I hate elevators in this game.
at the end. This is just the map station. Not really needed, but we have it anyway, so cool. I will say I, I this is probably my favorite track in Super Metroid. And I am really uh, really disappointed that out of all the tracks that Metroid Prime 1 remixed from Metroid Super Metroid, this is one of the ones they did not use. And it really is a shame because this is my favorite track from Super Metroid. I literally have a remix version of it on my fucking computer for crying out loud. Or my phone, rather. Alright, so there we go. Got a missile. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave this room because I accidentally activated that, uh, the gate. But, just to give you a little information, the speedball technique I was mentioning before is what you actually have to do to get over there without the speed booster. Uh, yeah, no, fuck that. There nope. I think there's at least one expansion in here. Nope, three. Or two. Okay. So there's three in this room. There's that reserve tank, and then there are two missile tanks. So now we have increased our missile capacity by another ten. Oh, creative. Alright, what else we got? So I know down in the main room of Brinstar, um, there is a an energy tank, but I need the gravity suit to get it. There's also something else in that room, but I can't remember what it is. I think it's a missile or a power mod. This is also right here, the super missile that you would normally get if you could sequence break this tunnel here, and you'd be able to bypass the spore spawn boss completely. But I didn't do that, so I can't do it. Ow. What's in here? Oh, it's just a safe room. Might as well destroy it. That down there to the left is just an energy recharge. And there's a lot of things in there that make you want to lose your energy, so I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, for the principal sake of it. Hold on. Try it again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, if you speed boost through here, it'll open this long shaft. And there's a save room over here. Oh, energy room. Okay. Now that's necessary because of the shine spark technique. I'm sure almost all of you know what the hell it is, but in case you don't, when you're in speed boost, you hold down on the control stick or D-pad to charge your speed booster, and then hit either the A button to just shoot straight up, the A button in conjunction with one of the directions on the D-pad to go left or right, respectively, or the R button or L button to go, or L R button to go up, or I don't even think you can go down, but whatever. All right. Now in here, there's another expansion that I get behind this invisible wall that was protected by power bomb blocks. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Alright. Now down right here, underneath my foot. Super missile. Blow it up. Get a power bomb. Seems kind of counterintuitive to blow up the floor to get a bomb, but whatever. And then you can go through here. Get out of this tunnel. If you have the spring ball later on in the game, you forgot about this missile, you can do it that way too. I don't try, that's dumb. But uh, down below here, uh, in this pathway below where the charge beam was, there is another expansion, but I'm not gonna get it because I can't. However, I can get the expansion that's up here where the power bomb was. Or is, I should say. Now that I have the power bombs, I can blow up power bomb doors. There's a big room here. I don't like those things at all. I really wish there was a way to shoot your beam weapon while you're somersaulting. It would make it a lot easier to wall through. And energy tank. That puts us into six plus two reserve tanks.
Now I want to get at least eight before I face fan two. And I can get that bit. I just gotta go to the right places. Like I mentioned before, uh, uh, the one that's below where the... What the fuck it is? Uh, below the charge beam. We can't get that yet. Uh, what else am I missing here? I feel like there's something obvious I'm missing. Uh, we'll just try head through. Not maybe a power bomb there, but alright. Okay, so we can also go up here. This will lead us back to Criteria. Well, sort of Criteria. Um, it's actually the opposite side of the room where we got the Morph Ball at the very start of the game. But behind that wall is a Power Bomb expansion. And I really like how that's actually like a loop back to the very first area you were. You don't believe me. There you go. Name room. Pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and loop back because we don't really need to be in here right now. I think there's a couple more things I can do. Um, let me think here. Actually, is there another energy tank over here? I'm pretty sure there is. Well, I know there's at least one, but I don't remember where it is. Let me think here. I'll have to probably put on my best thinking baseball cap later to figure this out. But I suppose I could go after him now. I mean, I have to go through that godforsaken room again, but I'm a little better prepared now, I think. I hate hitting things in midair. Dangerous room. Okay, yay, no damage that time. That room always stresses me out, damn it. So, I figure we will probably call this an episode after I get back to my ship. Uh, since we're, like I said before at the start of the Let's Play, I'm trying to keep these about 25 minutes or so. Oh, there is something else I can get here. Yeah, there's a missile I can get up there. Let me see if I can get it from here. Or is that too fucking far? Nope, that's perfect. Alright. I don't know if it's a missile or a super. I think it's a red. Oh no, it's a power bomb. That was doubly wrong. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video, so... 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any ideas for future content, please leave your suggestions in the comment section down below or on my Twitter at page at Zodiris. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making you for fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.